national government and our departments who really have shown great foresight. And National Geographic is just so committed to telling the story of the human journey. And connections aren't just about geography. It's not just the microcosm of my district. It's who we are. It's connections. Here I have a proclamation to read on behalf of the city of Dallas. Whereas the Perot Museum of Nature and Science will partner with the University of Witwatersrand, this university, the National Geographic Society, and the South African government to present the world exclusive exhibition, Origins Fossils from the Cradle of Humankind, through March 22, 2020. And two. into one of the most dangerous situations where fossils have ever been recovered to the varied and vast scientists and explorers and technicians that are involved in of his mandible and teeth up at the top. Those are ribs curved across there, parts of his ulna, the radius, tibia, the femur, even this magnificent sacrum, your tailbone, and the lumbar vertebra going up that, when complete, will make, and when out of this rock digitally, hopefully, they will make him the most complete hominid fossil ever discovered. What you can't see here is as exciting as what you can, because just underneath that, we know through CT scanning, that there is a whole layer of the rest of his skeleton, including what look like articulated hands or maybe a foot um, inside of there. That's an extraordinary thing.